What happens when you place water into an iron receptacle, like a saucepan maybe? You know, you put a big fire underneath and then channel the resulting vapour. You get to harness the power of steam. That, my friend, is exactly what the Kui Si Pillar is all about, the power of steam. So, before we get steamrolled, kidding, the celebrity I've chosen to showcase the Kui Si is none other than uh, Dato Joey Yap himself. You know, guys, <laughs> I thought long and hard before I did this, mainly because I was scared of getting slapped, slapped. Okay? But I really wanted to pay tribute to Dato Joey Yap's accomplishments, which are many in the metaphysics arena. And upon deeper thought, uh, I really couldn't find anyone else who really embodied the superpower of the Kuisu. Okay, So that's why I, I have decided to... Uh, choose Dato Joey Yap to be the representative for the quiz. So, welcome back as we continue our series exploring the 60 pillars. Thank you for watching. My name is Pauline Chang and I am a life coach who uses Chinese metaphysics to empower, not to disempower. Okay, so, next. The quiz is perhaps the most driven, hardworking and noble among the six Kui pillars. Seated on its own uh, direct wealth, direct officer, and direct resource stars, the Kui Si can easily tap onto the wealth officer seal structure that brings blessings of nobility and success. The key to making the Kui Si work is to give it direction and purpose. Like the steam in our example, when harnessed properly, it can move a train, right? But without that direction, the steam scatters into the air and disperses into nothing. This means that when inspired and committed to a strong purpose, a higher purpose, the Kui Si pillar can literally move mountains. But how does the weak Kui water move a mountain? The answer lies in the crux of the Kui Si pillar, which is the gift of collaboration. Allow me to elaborate. Now, in the study of Ba Zi, the Kui water is deemed, I stress, deemed, as the weakest of the ten stems. They abhor tough situations. Oh, and things get too hot. The Kui water has been known to scatter, returning only when things cool down. Some may say that the Kui water is lazy. I beg to differ. But before I delve into the individual strengths of each element, I would like to share that the Kui Si pillar by itself sits on a Tai Chi and Tian Yi nobleman star. This makes the Kui Si one of the top spiritual pillars, representing not just an interest, but also a talent for spirituality and metaphysics. Now you see why the celebrity I chose uh, makes sense. Okay, so let's talk about your strengths. So number one, okay, seated on your own Ping Fire Direct Wealth star, the Kui Si will certainly put in its fair share of work. But being the smartest worker of them all, why bother doing something when you can get others to do it for you? Okay, now number two, your Wu Earth Officer star comes in to give the Kui Si its much needed direction to move mountains, right? Here is courage, here is leadership. This Kui Water Day Master will not crumble under pressure. Instead, you excel in situations where leadership and collaboration is called for. Being a highly noble pillar, the Kui Si is not triggered by mere financial achievements alone, although those are good things to have. In fact, mm, the Kui Si will typically always worry about money, even when you have plenty of money in the bank. Okay? So, but what really drives a Kui Si is recognition. So third, your Kui Si Day Water is also seated on your own Geng Metal resource star. This means that you are innately intelligent, perceptive, and a great strategic thinker. But more than that, this represents the ability to apply critical thinking to any situation. And that is how you are able to master the topics that interest you. Okay? Much like how, uh, what attracted me to learn parts from the JY Mastery Academy. Because Dato Joyap has managed to strip away blind faith and superstition. And leaving me convinced that Chinese metaphysics is both a science and an art. 
So now, given the three factors here, the ability to work hard, the presence of noble people, and a thirst for recognition, we circle back to the gift of collaboration that comes automatically to the Kwesi pillar. It's the gift of not only connecting with people from all walks of life, but to take it one step further by working collaboratively with them. Therefore, the Kwesi's contact list can be worth its weight in gold. So let's, go on, let's move on to your vulnerabilities. The snake branch, this, this guy is a snake, right? is considered an active star. As a result, the Kuisu Day Master typically will have a stronger need for financial stability than most other people. Basically, this is a case of money never enough. Now, there's a fun dichotomy in the Kuisu. While this Day Master has awesome organizational skills, it can also be inherently lazy. You know, um, Lance attack basically. All right. What this means is that productivity tend to happen in bursts of activity. There will be periods of intense work followed by a period of inertia. For this reason, it's usually best for the Kwesi to own a business so that others can continue the work while you slack off. Okay. So now. Let's move on to how you present. The quiz day master can be a bit shy when you first meet people, a bit awkward, right? But once the ice is broken, most people will find the quiz to be a very original thinker and quite outgoing. Now, as mentioned, the snake is an active star, and anyone with this influence will likely enjoy an active and diverse social life. So now, let's talk about how to be Kwesi, but better. Well, here are three easy ways to maximize the gift of collaboration in the Kwesi. Number one, be open to meeting new people constantly. The Se by itself, as I mentioned a couple of times before, is an active traveling star. Forcing the Se pillar to stay still will result in strong inertia that can prove to be a bit difficult to overcome. Therefore, try to put yourself in situations where it is easy and appropriate to introduce yourself to new contacts. Let's be realistic about friends. Not all friends stay in our lives forever. Not everyone we meet will become our BFFs. So that contact list must constantly be updated and topped up. Okay, number two, commit to a community. Committing yourself and establishing yourself within a community is a great way for the Kwesi to find new collaborators. As more people are drawn into the community, so does your value grow. And thirdly, establish yourself as a giver. Be willing to share knowledge, tips, and value on a regular basis. Something as simple as sharing a funny story or a motivational quote via text messaging is enough to let people know that they are in your thoughts. And when you do that, you will indirectly position yourself as a subject matter expert, which will not only draw more people into your circle, but more importantly, keep them there. So now on a personal note, I have a, a really good friend who happens to also be a Kwesi Day Master. She does this, this, this three points very, very naturally. So naturally that there are days where I truly envy her for this ability. In, our, in today's hyper-connected world, the ability to bring many people together to work on one objective is truly a powerful talent indeed. Okay, so that's it for the quiz. As always, a final caveat, without the ability to see your full chart, I must stress that the suggestions in this video are, bo are broad recommendations based on a single pillar, which is the day pillar only. Not the year pillar, not the month, not the hour, the day pillar. Are you a quiz day master? If you are curious, you may want to plot your parts of chart. There's a free plotter link in the description. Registration is required. Okay, if you have a question, that's what the comments are for. Otherwise, until I see you in the next video, be the collaborative quiz you are. Please help me share this video. Or at the very least, just like and subscribe. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.